We ask that military service members in uniform remain covered during the conduct of the ceremony.
ladies and gentlemen. Craig Manatti, Commander of the Naval Surface Training Command, and welcome to Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarter deck of our Navy. What an exciting day. It is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest admission candidates from the new student doctorate in SI. Thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these young adults. Your support, your encouragement, your love shaped each to choose to serve their country. As we will witness in just a few minutes, these young women and men have been the center of transformation that has taken place over the past several days. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing their individual limits. Each learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, of dedication. They have commenced the name journey and are now part of our time-honored tradition of service to our nation. Each of these missions play a critical role as the next generation of leaders fulfill our Navy's mission. They will serve the work of their college or university where training will continue. Each will grow. Each will develop. Each will learn. Each will experience. Each will transform into their best self to lead our future leaders. As we celebrate our graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that we made here. Let us honor the commitment and dedication of these leadership and those who guided them. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. What you are about to witness is special. What you are about to observe will move you. Why? Because your loved ones are committed to their mission. Your loved ones are chosen to protect and defend our values centered on freedom. I am proud to help each ship. Thank you. Thank you for playing a significant role in their lives. I will only welcome you to our family. Enjoy this ceremony and celebrate your mission. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party, the playing of the national anthem, and the invocation. Commander, United States Navy, arriving. NROTC, University of South Carolina, arriving. Naval Service Training Command, arriving. Parade the colors. Present. Arms.
Retire the colors. Chaplain Brindier will now provide the invocation. Let us pray. Gracious God, we ask for your strength and wisdom today upon our candidates, having completed Navy student indoctrination. Today, they and their families celebrate this grand milestone. We thank you for your presence and power aiding them in facing and overcoming many challenges firefighting, damage control, seamanship, watch standing, small arms handling, and marksmanship. These men and women trained, and they do aim to be future Navy and Marine Corps officers. Their hard work includes the support of family, community, friends, and many gathered here with them here today, and the dedicated drill instructors training them, which we thank you for. We also thank you for the many staff imparting knowledge, skills, and experience to them. As they press forward, God, would you go ahead and go with these candidates, helping them to act honorably in the challenges of life, courageously when temptations arise, and committed to our seafaring community, to one another, and this calling of honorable service. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Parade. Rest. We begin our ceremony acknowledging the exemplary performance of our midshipmen candidates and instructors. We are recognizing individuals for two different, two different awards per company. The midshipmen candidate honor graduate is awarded for having the highest cumulative score in performance events. The Midshipman Candidate Toughness Award recognizes the Midshipman Candidate who displayed the characteristics of warrior toughness to not give up and persevere in the face of adversity. The Midshipman Candidate Toughness Award was voted on by the Midshipman Instructors. Please hold your applause until all the names have been announced. Alpha Company, Midshipman Candidate Honor Graduate, Midshipman Candidate O'Connor. Alpha Company, Midshipman Candidate Toughness Award, Midshipman Candidate Lamont. Bravo Company, Midshipman Candidate Honor Graduate, Midshipman Candidate Curry. Bravo Company, Midshipman Candidate Toughness Award, Midshipman Candidate Rainey. Charlie Company, Midshipman Candidate Honor Graduate, Midshipman Candidate Spence Lee. Charlie Company, Midshipman Candidate Toughness Award, Midshipman Candidate Arnold.
please join me in a round of applause for these outstanding midshipmen. Ladies and gentlemen, new student indoctrination cycle three, officer in charge, Captain John Compton. Good morning and welcome to all the uh, family and friends of NSI Iteration Three graduating class. The last two and a half weeks have, been, have tested the women and men before you both physically and mentally. They have been introduced to shipboard firefighting, deck seamanship, line handling, becoming third class swimmers, weapons familiarization, experienced the confidence chamber, and been through warrior toughness training. And of course, they have been introduced to the love and affection of a marine drill instructor. I can say with confidence that the men and women before you have learned something about themselves and are ready to start their four year training to become Naval Marine Corps officers. There's a host of folks that I need to thank for making this iteration a success. My staff to include the Ensign Support, the Recruit Division Commanders, and the Marine Drill Instructors who have not only led the training, but mentored our midshipmen instructors in their leadership development. The RTC staff that man and conduct all the training for the command, and the midshipmen instructors themselves for the long hours and consistent attention with our candidates. Last but certainly not least, the Human Resource Assistants, our supply technicians, and the Navy Exchange Team, who made the whole process move from cradle to grave. Thank you all for a job well done. Our guest speaker enlisted in the Navy in 1987 as an aviation anti-submarine warfare op operator. He attended Boost and graduated the Naval Academy in 1995. After earning his wings of gold, he spent his career flying the P-3 Orion and the P-8 Poseidon, in the Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Community. He commanded VP-9 out of Koyani Bay, Hawaii, and commanded Patrol and Reconnaissance Wing 11 in NAS Jacksonville, Florida. He served across the globe, supporting commanders in the SOUTHCOM, NORTHCOM, Sixth Fleet, NATO, UCOM, AFRICOM, and indo PACOM AORs. And of course, served his time in the Pentagon as the Assistant to Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Plans and Strategy and most recently as the Senior Military Advisor to the Secretary of the Navy. He earned his Master's Degree in National Security Studies from the Naval War College, an Executive Leadership and Management Certification from the University of Notre Dame, and as an alumnus of MIT Seminar 21. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Commander, Naval Service Training Command, Captain Craig T. Mattingly. John, thank you for that kind introduction. My mother would have been so proud, and my father would have wondered who you were talking about. <laughs> Welcome, family, friends, and all of our military guests. What a great opportunity to celebrate the first steps these fine young midshipmen candidates have taken towards a future of military service. I want to begin by recognizing the veterans, the officers and enlisted who have served and are present today. Not only as a person of integrity and wearing the cloth of our nation, but also as a proud parent. Continuing the life of service through your daughter and your son. I also want to recognize those family members specifically that are products of the NRTC program. Thank you for passing on this proud legacy to these new midshipmen and paying forward this experience to the next generation. Please join me in a round of applause for our veterans, service members, and NRTC midshipmen, past and present. This ceremony is steeped in customs and traditions, dating 247 years to the beginning 
of our nation's Navy. This event formally sets the course for these young women and men entering into their Navy career. Dress uniforms, formality, marching, and a passive view all to acknowledge our connection to those that have gone before us, to those that will stand and watch, those that will protect our freedom in the future. This group before us today is our nation's future. To our family and friends, you entrust us on these young adults who are hungry for a challenge and ready to serve. For that, I thank you. Your support is vital and will remain so throughout these mission and cadets, candidates, time in an RTC and into their Navy and Marine Corps careers. While we serve, even the strongest among us need the support of our family and our friends. Your presence, your interest, your love demonstrates a collective pride in the accomplishments of these mission candidates. I'm highlighting you because this display of support is critical to successful service. Thank you for showing up in these candidates' lives and being here on this special day. I also want to recognize the contributions of the Command Triad, Captain Compton, Commander Shu, and Command Senior Chief Wingle. I charge each of you with the welfare and basic training of 459 midshipmen candidates. You met your mission admirably, and I am grateful for your leadership and commitment in shaping these young women and men. For the command triad, of course, you didn't do it alone. I also want to recognize our team in the trenches, the drill instructors, the recruit division commanders, the recruit training command instructors and staff, the ROTC instructors and staff, and our midshipmen instructors who worked exhausting hours to make a new student indoctrination a success. You made it look easy when it is anything but. Your hard work and dedication to duty is inspiring and consequential to these graduating leadership. It is no overstatement to say that what you have accomplished these past weeks will benefit the Navy Marine Corps for years to come. These future officers transform under your charge. They will carry with them what you instill. They will find themselves by mere habit applying the lesson you have taught. You have set their course. Well done. And please give these professionals a round of applause for their hard work. As a leader, we commence training environments such as this with a focus to impart time-honored lessons to a motivated group who are eager to learn. You have proven to be just such a group. You came to us with a strong desire for service. You were motivated to work hard as a team and as an individual. You have crossed the Rubicon of transformation in the lifelong journey of what it means to serve your nation. Family and friends, I know you're proud of your daughters, your sons, your brothers, sisters, significant others, and friends. I am equally proud. Today, they assume a significant role that of a Navy ROTC midshipman. Seeing these midshipman candidates transform over the past several weeks and being part of this graduation ceremony renews my spirit and pride in our newest generation of future naval leaders. Midshipmen candidates, you've had a chance to learn from the best sailors and marines. You've met remarkable people during your time here who will undoubtedly shape your future. And you've met many new people from a variety of backgrounds who you now call a friend. Over these past several weeks, you've worked hard as individuals and as teams. We've required you to stay watch, march in formation, learn military training, structure, history, safely and accurately fire small arms and exercise damage control and firefighting. You swam, you practiced abandoning the ship, and you ran, and you ran, and you ran, and you ran.
and you ran. You did all this under expertly calibrated stress supplied by drill instructors and recruit division commanders. You were taught the fundamentals of warrior toughness, a human performance skill set. And to the audience, we adopted warrior toughness from elite athletes, individuals and teams that are the best of the best, who desire to be better than they were yesterday, shaking off seconds of a run or sticking that last performance as a gymnast. Another elite group that uses these techniques is our Navy SEALs. Enough said, this skill set works. And to the candidates, this added skill set will enhance your ability to navigate any situation and execute at peak performance to continue to be your best self under pressure, whether in college or in the fleet. Simply put, you have emerged stronger in every aspect of mind, body, and spirit. Over the next several years, you will study naval history, leadership, law, engineering, naval tactics, seamanship, and navigation, as well as other academic disciplines. You will experience a variety of challenges to include leadership roles. Large portions of your summer will be in training, and some of you will even return to NSI right here in Great as instructors. What an honor and privilege to be able to come back as an instructor. instructor only a few years after being here as the clay to be shaped. You now get the awesome opportunity of shaping the next set of clay. Reflect on how your midship instructors taught you, mentored you, supported you, and imagine yourself doing that in NSI in two years as a leader and as a mentor. NSI has established a positive trajectory for you to start the NRTC program. This effort sets the course for you to commission as Navy and Marine Corps officers. I challenge you to maintain your momentum. Your nation and your Navy are depending on each and every one of you. And before we recite the oath, allow me one final point, a recommendation that will pay dividends if you take it. As you move through your careers, be committed to your people and care for their success. Sailors and Marines achieve their highest performance under positive and engaged leadership from the officers appointed over them. You enter their lives providing support, encouragement, clarity, and mission, and most importantly, you have the privilege to care for what and who they are. And it doesn't cost you a dime. It simply requires you to take heed on how you treat others. When you commit to caring, there is no mission your team cannot accomplish. I repeat, when you commit to caring, there is no mission your team cannot accomplish. Family members, you may notice your leadership is noticeably different from when you last saw. They stand before you as members of the professional arms, forged through shared adversity. And as they depart in SI, these midshipmen candidates have become tougher, more disciplined, more courageous, and will continue to hone what they learned to become the best junior officers in our Navy and Marine Corps. They chose to serve. They chose to join the ranks of the legacies like Admiral Stockdale, Halsey, Nimitz, Perry, Farragut. They chose to enter the quarter deck of the Navy right here in Great Lakes three weeks ago to transform, to serve in something greater than themselves. Back to the midshipmen candidates. Well done. Proud of each other more you. Take this experience, reflect on what you've learned, and know that you have many opportunities to grow and develop throughout your careers. Embrace the relationships you have created over these past weeks. Nurture those relationships as you develop academically and professionally. You accomplish this course together. Take pride in that accomplishment. Congratulations to each of you. Family, friends, staff, let's give these midshipmen candidates before us, our future, a round of applause.
Shipping candidates, are you ready to commence your journey to forge your future and join the world's best and most powerful Navy Marine Corps? I am ready for you to join in the ranks. I will now administer the oath. For those in the audience that are veterans or in uniform, please remain seated so those that are not are able to take pictures. So just enjoy this moment. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Having been appointed a midshipman in the United States Navy, I solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. I solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations. After which, we ask you to depart without your graduate as they will be participating in our final accountability check and transportation. Families that dropped their midshipmen off, we ask you to meet them at Berkey Mall. For those that flew in, we ask you to meet them at the airport. Thank you. NSI, Cycle 3, dismissed.